What's up guys and welcome back to Guild Wars 2. So pretty big news the other day, is I've been a while for quite some time now. I do apologise, it wasn't the plan. Um, I had hoped to make a whole ton of videos, uh, kind of prepping everybody ready for uh, Pathfire, which is coming out today. Uh, it lit literally in a matter of hours. It's currently half three, it will be here about half five, six o'clock. So it's pretty exciting times. Um, on top of that, on Sunday, I finally hit a big milestone, uh, 500 subscribers. Thank you very much. Um, it's really humbles me that uh, so many of you have decided to kind of stick around and watch my stuff. Uh, not that there has been a lot, and I do apologize, but hopefully I'll be getting back onto that. Life's been really busy and pretty crazy for me the past uh, few months, so I'm hoping to come back to some regularity again. Um, having said that, I haven't been too active and I did play both of the the beta weekends um, and I do have tons of footage which you'll probably be seeing in the background at, um, you know as you're watching this video uh, but I was only able to play like four hours because I've been working weekends and well I'll be working tonight so I won't be able to enjoy the, much of the expansion which is a shame but there we go that's just the way that you know life goes sometimes so yeah uh, I'm gonna start off and say Enjoy the expansion, guys. It's a, it's a it's a big day. It's a very big day. Anyway, I want to see. Well, can I want to go through um, how I've prepared for uh, Heart of Thor uh, not Heart of Thorns, Path of Fire, um, and I did want to make quite a few videos for you guys just to um, you know help you get ready and be prepared. I've played through a lot of expansions, so I kind of you know I've been around a bit. And uh, there's some things that new players might not necessarily know. Some, um, you know, even seasoned players might not understand. So, you know, uh, let's <laughs> go into it. So my plan really is, to, I've, as you can see, I'm on my uh, guard, which is actually my main. It's the character I've played the most. Um, though I usually play my thief the most, and have I played pretty much all of Heart of Thorns on my thief. Um, I really enjoy my guard. Um, I wasn't enthralled by the Dragon Hunter. Um, I mean, it's cool. Don't get me wrong. Like the whole bow things, you can see I've got got that there. Um, yeah, it's it's cool, but it just didn't didn't tickle my fancy. Whereas the Daredevil was just fucking so rad. Oh yeah, and it's kind of the same thing again for Path of Fire. Um, I thought the Dead Eye would really blow me away, and it just didn't. Um, which is a shame, though the firebrand, holy shit, yes, I am I'm so hot for that, so, so hot. So that's what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be playing through at least the first half of the expansion, probably on uh, playing as a firebrand for just ridiculous support, just spamming quickness, just giving all of the quickness to all of the people all of the time, uh, that's going to be amazing, um, Mesmos, go eat a dick. So yeah, that's going to be really good, and um, yeah, mounts, mounts, holy shit, which means I don't have to have these stupid fucking runes of the traveller anymore, uh, which I've had for years just in my gear, um, yeah, which is, is dumb. Um, so yeah, the things that I've been preparing, um, as you can see, uh, I've actually maxed, finally maxed out uh, my masteries. It literally, well, I finished it today actually, uh, but I got all of the points yesterday. That was the only thing that was holding me back, and then it was the last tier of experience for uh, New Hawk. Uh, these were the ones I needed to do, and then the last one for raids. So that held me back. I wasn't really that bothered by it anyway, and playing Tangled Depths without New Hawk Alchemy. Um, yeah, it's kind of like playing playing it on hard mode, which is always kind of fun. Um, so there is there is that. Um, when Path of Fire is released, obviously there will be another tier here um, to do with the mates. And I don't intend to spend the entirety of the duration kind of scrabbling for these things. Because once you've maxed out your masters, you get spirit shards, and those are always handy. Uh, it's not that I don't have enough of them. Um, I've spent thousands as well but that's what I've got left but that'll bring me on to the next thing so um, I haven't really done a huge amount but I've got a little bit of everything um, so 
Uh, I've been spending my karma on the back pieces, so I'm here in Siren's Landing and uh, I've been picking up those relics, which are really cool back pieces, but they're super expensive in terms of karma, uh, like 350,000 karma each, which is quite a lot. Um, as for all of these other bits, you know, just I've been spending them, again, kind of getting ready, but I've got loads of stuff. Map currencies don't really matter so much, who really gives a shit. Unbound magic, um, I've also been spending getting bits of gear and everything else, um, but I imagine that's going to have some part to play. Uh, I've not been farming it at all. Uh, I've got the Unbound magic harvesting stuff, and that has given me um, 15,000 over the past like two weeks just from very casual play, which is really nice. Uh, I spent all my claim tickets because I'm sorting out Warbringer. Um, heroics, again, these are really, really useful. So if you look, if we have a look on my guard, so I've got all of the hero points, uh, map completion on my guard, and I've done everything. So I've got everything maxed out and I still have 364 hero points left so when the expansion comes I can just go BAM uh, click on the new thing and then just train all of it straight away whether I will or not I don't know but I did play Daredevil and uh, for Heart of Thorns and I was severely gimped in terms of builds uh, yes yeah, like it was really bad they've changed that for the new expansion uh, so it's gonna be a lot easier but yeah, I was really gimped and it just didn't make it fun because the builds were broken with the Daredevil. It was all about that dodge and then you didn't unlock the special dodges until like right at the end. And it was just the dumbest and worst, worst thing. Um, but yeah, that's the thing. You can get more, um, you can easily do these if you play some world versus world, get some proof of heroics. You get it every time you rank up or um, skirmish chests now have them. You can get loads. Uh, depends if you want the legendary armor or anything. Uh, that's why I'm kind of banking them up just in case. Also handy for map completion because it means you don't actually need to go into the world and do those things. Which was really handy for Heart of Thorns actually because it's all kind of group based stuff in terms of skill points. Um, so yeah and then there's just a bunch of other stuff. I spent on my laurels because I'm an idiot. Um, but yeah, oh with laurels you can get boosters. Boosters, oh yes boy. So um, I'm going to have a look here and show you. So I don't particularly want to blast through the expansion. I didn't with Heart of Thorns. I uh, don't intend to do it this time round. However, to make things a little bit easier, you can get experience boosters and experience foods and that sort of thing. So you can get here, Exploding Drake Tails, um, which is the one of these buffs. It's the other one that's kind of gone, but you just kind of hold it. And then, boom, get off some fireworks, lovely. Then it'll give you that, Ram's reward. 10% bonus experience earned from all non-item sources. That's all non-item sources, so not just kills. That could be from events, uh, completing, uh, oh actually, yeah, no, it'd be events, and then if you're doing a personal story, as long as it doesn't give you uh, the experience in those little pamphlets of wisdom or whatever they're called, uh, it sh you should get an extra 10% from that, which is nice. Uh, you can stack those with the Lucky Drake Tales, which is the Rooster's Gift. Um, same thing, you just launch a firework, it'll give you uh, the Rooster's Gift, which is 10% magic find, and 5% experience from kills. That one is just limited to kills, uh, but it does give you... 10% magic find, which would be nice, heading into the new map with new resources and everything else. Um, and then of course birthday boosters, these ones last for a day. You can get celebration boosters, I don't think I have any on me. Uh, no I don't, but they are the same thing, you can also buy them from the, uh, what do you call it, the store, the Black Lion trading post, uh, which I can show you, uh, boosters, I don't, I don't particularly advocate buying them to be to be completely honest with you. Rogue boosters. Uh are they just rogue boosters then. Okay, interesting. Utility primer. Ooh, those would be pretty good. Um yeah, but the, your login rewards here usually get where where is it? Uh there it is. Bag of celebration. Contains celebration booster. 
Easy peasy. I only get one a month. Interesting. Anyway, so yep, yeah, they've got those, and then experience boosters. The heroic boosters also stack with those, I believe. Um, then on top of that, there's foods. I'm going to be using sharpening skulls and the peppermint on the berry bars. So those are the ones that I always use. 30% magic fine, 40% gold, 10% experience, 10% karma, which is insane. But you get these from winter's day and then sharpening skulls is just 10 percent experience and 30 percent magic find you can get those from um halloween which will be coming up soon that's another thing to keep in mind um when you are going to be going into the expansion and where you want to delegate your time obviously it's not as bad as heart of thorns because the two were released at the same time so it was kind of do i play all the new halloween stuff or do i do all the new expansion stuff and yeah it was it was a mess um so the next thing you should probably go through is just like some general um other items that are that are really useful um i've got here the invitation to the lily of the elon and like a captain's airship i've also got the noble's folly um i've got a few of the other ones as well basically same thing. I don't think I can use this. No, I can't. Oh, you have to complete chapter one. Okay, interesting. Um, but yeah, it's it just quick access to um, crafting stations, banks, guilds, Mystic Forge, merchants, all that kind of rubbish. Uh, very, very good. Um, I've saved a lot of money using one of these. Maybe not as much as it would be in the cost of gems, but over time it will do that. And you get this one for free if you buy the deluxe version of the expansion lovely um you often get these through like black lion chests as well if you open them so those are pretty cool teleport to a friend those are pretty fun um continue why have i got continue coins i've got an infinite one i need to clear my bags out this is just awful um yep yeah, and salvage kits salvage 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 kits these are amazing um obviously it just costs you copper to use and they never run out because they are unlimited. I've got the copper and the silver one here. So the copper one is just like your standard blue one. It's 10% chance of rare materials, 20% chance of recovering upgrades, which I use for pretty much everything. And then if I need to salvage anything decent, I'll use the silver one, but that costs 60 copper instead of three. Acts like a, silver, uh, a mystic salvage kit if you ever use those pretty self-explanatory obviously you can right click them um, as you can with any salvage kit I don't think I've got any more in here uh, no but yeah salvage and then you can salvage all of them that's a really handy tip uh, that was added a couple of patches ago uh, really really good really handy well, actually no I think it was added like a year ago it's not long after Heart of the Ones was released that they changed this quality of life thing but yep so there's that um, it's really good oh shit um yep uh, got my living world tome. I would suggest also going going back and grabbing all of these so you can teleport to around to all of the living uh, Living world season 3 maps. These are really good if you've got them unlocked Like I said, I'm in Siren's Landing currently, which is an ore So this is pretty good for if you want to save a couple of silver like from waypointing They're pretty nice Candy corn gobbler again Halloween is going to be coming up soon So if you haven't got one of these I would suggest get picking one up, but it requires uh, pieces of candy corn, uses three every time, and it's what gives me all of these boosts, like an extra experience booster here, and also most likely will just turn you into some stupid uh, Halloween creature or whatever. See? <laughs> Lovely. Oh yeah, peg leg. Oh yeah, boy. And we match, which is awesome. Um, So, yeah, that's that. Again, in terms of uh, things like gear, um, I haven't really gone ham. I've been collecting little bits of ascended gear here and there from whatever. Obviously, you want to get your trinkets and your weapons. This gear here doesn't really matter. I mean, I've been doing that and then I've got loads more. Uh, world versus world gear, whatever. I'm working towards the legendary stuff, but that's going to take months, um, if not years, to get because time gates are lame uh, so there's that uh, you can also get a legendary amulet aurora from the collections which I did 
make a start on but haven't really done anything. Uh, requires you to master all of this Living World Season 3 stuff. Uh, you get a really cool effect of like some floating orbs around the character. That's pretty good. Um, another thing to, to also mention in terms of that, when you're going for the weapons, uh, obviously in characters going to get a new weapon set so maybe it might be worth you looking into making a legendary for that new weapon um, because stat swapping is always good uh, there's going to be new meta of course you don't need to stick to meta i've always advocating not playing meta builds uh, because i tend to have the most fun doing that but then i have also made some videos you know that have been geared like heavily entrenched in one sort of idea like vault spamming or my daredevil which did become meta so there is that um i'm interested to see where firebrand's going to go it's going to be a condition i believe condition and healing power uh, which could be good because i'm totally up for playing condition damage for this expansion uh and then yeah alongside that there's going to be new runes and stat sets so that's why i say if you are collecting stuff like ascended stuff don't make it now um wait a bit and then see only make the uh the exotic versions of the uh well actually no i suppose you could just make the insignia and then trans uh use the the uh anthology heroes just to swap it over th with the stats in the mystic toilet so there's also that um so yeah that's that's pretty much it in terms of like account stuff that i've really been doing um, collecting currencies and bits of gear. Uh, the last kind of things really that I'm looking forward to is just the story and hopefully it would be better than Heart of Thorns was because it started off really good and then just kind of sped up to like lightning pace and was just really disappointing towards the end. Uh, as much as I tried to convince myself to <laughs> that it <laughs> didn't suck, <laughs> it did suck, <laughs> but not as hard as the uh, the original base game story did, um, which did, was shit. Uh, so, yep. Uh, I would also recommend, if you have Living World Season 2, playing that as well. Um, playing through all of these, again, will be uh, very uh, fortuitous or whatever. It'd be good because like there's the masterpiece and then where did the egg come from and it came from the Zephyrites and how did the Zephyrites get it and the masterpiece is like I don't know I can't tell you and then he dies. We're going to Alona and that's where the Zephyrites originate from so um, yeah there's there might be some extra stuff in that story that uh, they may have planted all the way back then. Uh, same with kind of well not really the same with Heart of Thorns. I actually need to do it on this character holy shit. Uh, and then season three, just to recap before you head in, um, still got, like I said, another hour and 40 minutes or whatever until the expansion's here. So, yep, there's that. Um, I would really like to see the Labyrinthine Cliffs again, or a map similar to that. Uh, I really hope they do bring that back, but they probably won't, so whatever. Um, the whole thing with Balthazar is pretty good. I'm curious as to where that's going to go, uh, especially with uh, Palawa Joko, who's kind of like skirting around on the scene, and uh, Krakatarik. Uh, Krakatarik's going to be, obviously, that's that's his territory. And I wonder how Aureen and everything else is going to be kind of adding to that dynamic with the big baddies. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to be taking it quite slow for the most part and enjoying my time in the desert. Uh, there, like I said, with Heart of Thorns, I did the same thing. I just kind of like milled about for ages doing exploring and doing the jumping puzzles. I'm looking forward so much to these new jumping puzzles. Holy shit. Both on foot and mounted. God damn. This could be so good. Uh, but yep, yeah, uh, th there's going to be that, that sort of thing. Uh, I aim to get all the masteries done in a reasonable time. Uh, I'm not going to be rushing them, but I don't really want to have the same thing where I, I, I spend almost the entirety of the expansion just kind of sub-max because spirit shards. Uh, spirit shards are always handy for loads of different things, um, like crafting and making little bits of money. Um, hopefully there'll be more of a sink for this, but at the moment there isn't so much. Um, 
Yeah, and I should also obviously mention that the uh, Living World Season 3 will be coming out not long after the expansion hit. So this is like two or three months after, you know, so around December. Probably uh, I'm expecting about January time is when that's going to drop. Uh, so that's going to be pretty expi exciting. New Year, New Living World. That'd be pretty rad. Um, I've got a lot of videos to make before then as well because of uh, a competition that was like came to my attention. So expect to see loads of videos on that and also the expansion. There's going to be the new mounts and oh, what they're going to do in the story with that, with the gem store and everything else. You know, are we going to be able to buy skins? Hopefully we can actually earn some extra ones in game. I fucking love a Dolyak Raptor. <laughs> that would just be the best thing ever. Um, I think the skimmer is my favourite. And I'm really looking forward to messing around on one of those. The jackal also looks really cool. Uh, the rabbit can go fuck itself, but whatever. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure it's going to be totally rad still. Um, there's also going to be new legendaries um, because they've not filled out or fulfilled their promise on Heart of Thorns with all of those. So there's going to be that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah. Anyway, I've got to end the video here because it's probably already gotten on way too long. Not only that, uh, but I've got work later <laughs> and I want to get this video rendered and uploaded so I can enjoy the expansion for maybe half an hour uh, before I've got to go to work and then come back. Um, but yeah, that's it for me. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks very much for subscribing. Like I said, it's a big milestone and it humbles me um, that you've all kind of stuck around. Uh, hopefully you will continue to and I will see you in shortly in Path of Fire. Yeah, boy! Fucking go. See ya.